So, I was rummaging through my tech pile as we tech nerds tend to have and I found this monstrosity. In case you can't tell what this is, this is a 4 gigabyte stick of DDR4 2666 megahertz RAM and um, we're going to try and game with it. To give some context, my PC usually tears through any sort of games that you throw at it. I'm talking 4K max settings, over 60 FPS most of the time. The gameplay you're looking at right now is the Resident Evil 4 remake on max settings, absolute max, 4K, everything. But that's going to change here soon. You see, after I put in this RAM, I'm going to have four times the amount of video RAM compared to dedicated RAM. That, that's, that's, that never happens. <laughs> I don't even know if the RAM stick even works, so this whole video idea could be over in, in, in an instant so if, if it is you go ahead and just check the time on the bottom and you'll see let's go let's get this beautiful red ram out of there uh one stick two stick uh, three stick why does it sound that bad <laughs> and the fourth great goodbye beautiful ram in goes the monstrosity uh. oh okay all right Let's see. What roll? Oh, it was delayed. Uh, okay, I guess. Yeah, not a good sign that the DRAM is laid as on, so I don't. I'm gonna assume that maybe Clarence CMOS would fix it, so let's see. So what I went ahead and done is put my old RAM back in and turn off the XMP or DLCP profile, and I believe the other slot I was using wasn't even optimal for single channel ram if you can call single channel optimal but yeah for whatever reason my system was just not having it so i went ahead and sourced another four gigabyte stick of ram assuming the other one was broken and no dice nothing happened still so i've tried so many different weird combinations to, to see if this ram even works it, it it does work it's literally like it's working but it's it, it's only in conjunction with another ram stick so it's like, what, what do I do? Yep, it's it's working. I have an automatic RAM and it's showing that there's two dim slots used. So what's, what's up, what's up, buddy? What's going on? <laughs> so from here, all I did was take out the other RAM and it just kind of fixed itself and it, it somehow decided to post into Windows. Guys, I did it. Windows 11 with four gigabytes of RAM. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. <laughs> 69. Don't even know if I'm gonna be able to properly screen record this because I feel like OBS is gonna like hog all my RAM. I don't know what to do. Okay, I started the recording. I'm gonna take this stupid overlay off. Oh my god, I am recording with four gigabytes of RAM. I'm not lying. I Okay, excuse the wallpaper and how weird it looks. This is meant for a <laughs> ultra wide display, but, but I'm gonna prove it to you. I am I am using over half of my memory right now just just by existing and recording. <laughs> We're at 3.5. We're at 90 percent. I don't think that four gigabytes of RAM is gonna work with my bloated ass installer Windows. Oh my god. I'm, how much do you want to bet Resident Evil 4 is not even going to launch properly? It is just going to refuse to launch. The minimum is very low with eight gigabytes of RAM, but even even then, I don't think this is gonna launch with. 500 megabytes of RAM free. It's a moment of truth. Okay, what I've done is I went ahead and switched over to MKV instead of MP4 for my 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 uh, video recording, just because I know there's there's gonna be a lot of system crashes in this. Okay, we're launching Pal World. I don't. <laughs> I really don't know what to do, bro. The fact that we're even running at all. When, when 4 gigabytes of RAM, the fact we're even in the menu is, is surprising me. The fact we even see this loading screen, the fact that we even have- We are actually in. Okay. Now, let's see if we- if we, um, immediately crash like last time. We have not crashed yet. We are running in the 100 FPS territory. Let's get this little fast travel thing. I am so surprised that this is even possible right now considering how we were doing oh and yeah I, I i spoke too soon and and this is gonna start happening yep i'm going to i'm going to close power world forcibly please in the power world end it where is it there it is delete it 
I'm pretty sure Steam crashed too. I am surprised that that OBS is even functioning right now. It's, it's functioning when when four gigabytes of RAM. That's that's insane. We could try some teardown. I don't know how RAM intensive this game is. It's probably more so CPU than anything. But we're we're just gonna try it. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try some teardown. Um. Well, I don't think we're trying teardown today. Oh, never mind. We are. <laughs> So I am going to take the liberty of doing this real quick. Just turn down everything. I don't even think RAM matters for this, but we're gonna do it. Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna do a campaign level because I don't want to. I don't want to delve too far into the sandbox because I. I, I had some pretty crazy mods. We're we're in and we're at 500 FPS right now, but we're we're running at well over 500 right now. Doesn't seem like teardown is too RAM. Um, you know, specific, but we're going to put that to the test. Let's go into an actual level real quick. Okay, let's play this mission. On four gigabytes of RAM. Bro, this is actually insane. The fact we're not stuttering the hell. This is actually a very enjoyable, smooth experience. I am not unhappy with this. Must be locked. Okay. Come on. I'm just gonna play until it, it, it runs in our RAM if it does. Also, I do have cheats. Well, let's just here, let's let's mess around with some cheats real quick. Let's do like let's not do anything crazy. Let's do a little supernova. Oh, oh. Oh, um It seems I have fallen through the map. I don't think this is a product of, of the RAM. I think this is a product of my own stupidity, so I'm going to restart. All right, let's do an airstrike. Okay, we're gonna do a cluster bomb. Like this, this is surprisingly not, not crashing. I guess this game does not give a shit about RAM because um, surely Resident Evil and PAL World did. <laughs> let's go and actually, you know, I'm actually confident enough. Let's try one of my sandbox maps. All right, we're in, and we aren't getting 500 anymore. We're still in the hundreds. So we're still in the 300. Okay, well, I, I stand correct. If you look this way, you get about 500. <laughs> but, but we are at least seeing a dip in performance, which I don't think is even due to the RAM. So you know, whatever. We're going to see though. I usually do some crazy shit in this. Let's see if this will endure the supernova. Well. I can't say this is any different than having 64 gigabytes of RAM. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think this game gives a shit about RAM. All right, let's do this. Let's do the magnetizer. Let's click on that. Let's click on a random car. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, hello. Yeah, this is no. This is no more laggy than than having 64. I, it, it always drops frames like crazy when I do shit like this. You can have fun with 4 gigabytes of RAM. You can play teardown at hundreds of FPS with four gigabytes of RAM. This is insane. All right, I think this concludes teardown. <laughs> Let's try a different one. Let's play everyone's favorite space exploration game, Lethal Company. Now, I don't expect this game to have very many issues running with four gigabytes of RAM. Let's do. Wait, what? What? Was I wrong? <laughs> Was I wrong? Maybe I just maybe I just did something wrong. Maybe I maybe I'm the problem. All right, let's see how playable this game is. It looks actually like it's it's very playable. Obviously, this this game does not seem very RAM hungry at all. I'm maxing out the engine limit. I believe 250 FPS seems to be the engine limit. I'm honestly very surprised at how it's these games are even functioning with four gigabytes of RAM because Windows itself eats up so much. You would expect this game to be a stutter fest, even though it's Lethal Company, but like, come on, it's it's four gigabytes of RAM. The hell is that? This I need to. I'm, this isn't even like I'm not even trying to play this game and be like, oh, scary, oh my god. I'm trying to focus on the RAM aspect of it. But yeah, this game is actually running just fine with four gigabytes of RAM. Like, given you have an overpowered system. 4 gigabytes of RAM is, is is doable if you just play 
very small indie games, games that just aren't RAM intensive, I guess. You can still have a snappy desktop experience too with four gigabytes of RAM. Just don't open more than one and a half Chrome tabs or you're gonna like, you're gonna die. Hey, hey, I found the exit. Let's go. But yeah, I think this is about it for Lethal Company. I just needed to see if this game even functioned. I don't think that any of the bigger maps would cause any issues with RAM. So when I say that four gigabytes of RAM in 2024 is is gaming ready, sure. If <laughs> if that's all you can afford, like it it will it will just get you by. You can have a functioning computer with four gigabytes of RAM. You can play some games. Hell, you could probably throw in a Discord call and probably be okay. It's just a matter of do you have other components that are are not gonna buckle under the, the pressure of four gigabytes of RAM. Anyways, this was super fun. I'm just happy I managed to get the stick of, of RAM to even work. If for, for some reason it was allergic, but you know, whatever, okay? So this was a fun video. I hope you guys had fun with me and uh yeah you you stay tuned <laughs>